Hello, my name is Rose, and today I am making a special dream catcher for a school in St. John, New Brunswick. They will be having a cultural week, first week of March, and the dream catcher will be displayed within our school, and they will explain the meaning of the dream catcher. So let's get into it. So they have a big order and they wish to have 16 inches in diameter and by the time I'm finished I think it will be 40 inches in length. This is how I design um, my orders and I, I kind of draw it out and and see what they would like to have for the dream catcher. So the dream catcher is 16 inches in diameter. They like to have teal, blue, white beads. And also inside the center, they like to have a tree of life. And they can, they asked me to do any colors here. I'm thinking um, green with apples. And that would be uh, nice for a school. For the leather, they want a tan with the brown back. And again, this is going to a school in St. John. I can't wait to make it. We start with wrapping your ring. Don't forget to put a little tail so when you connect it, you can have a little knot and it's ready for hanging. I just make a simple knot, just a little like simple knot. And I usually take the nice side unless they request the darker side or the rough side but I usually take the nice side to wrap my whole ring. Oh, a little tip, a little clip to hold the beginning from unraveling. I just put it right there, see? And it keeps it from sliding and unraveling that part. It works really, really good. We are almost done. As we're getting closer to the end, I like to tie the knot with this one. So what I usually do, I tie a knot right here, but instead of having two or three knots, I kind of want to make it nice and neat. So I untie this, uh, the previous knot when I started. I have a little tail. It's a little bit long, but I'll I don't know if you can see here. Whoops. I'm gonna tighten this up again. And I, I make it nice and neat with one, instead of having three, uh, two knots or three knots, I like to, I'm just wrapping the rest of the ring so that it's all covered. And, un, and I just undid this one. I just try to make it nice and neat just by having one, maybe two nice knots. So there we go, we're almost done. And I leave it a little teal. I think I'm gonna put two here just to make sure it doesn't unravel. This is all done. And there we go. Then I, le I, I purposely left the, the, the tail long at the beginning so we can have it ready for hanging. Here we go, cut it. And I should just, just take it and just do a little knot on top. And there we go. 
And sometimes I trim this just to make it look nice and neat. There. See? It's perfectly wrapped. Before I forget, check out my dream catcher tutorial. It's a step-by-step -step process of how to make a dream catcher. I'll put it in the description below. For a dream catcher this size, I think I will go with, I'm looking at my notes, 650 inches. I might go a little bit smaller because I have the tree of life in the middle. So I'm thinking 600, just to be safe. 600 inches of sinew. Since this is a big dream catcher and I have a lot of sinew, I'm gonna try not to get any knots in it. And I usually, for these big, uh, bigger sizes, I usually space out with uh, the width of my hand all the way around the whole dream catcher. Then if it's off a little bit, then I go back and adjust it just to make sure everyone look, every section looks approximately the same, similar. And I'll show you that. I completed my first row and I am ready to add my beads on this long string. I put all my beads on without any tangles and we're ready to start the third row of webbing.
I had too much sinew and this was 180 inches too long so according to my notes I said at the beginning was 600 minus 180 so to do this webbing was 420 inches of sinew so my next thing is to do the tree of life You can see the apple tree, nice green leaves with apples, and the colors they had picked. It's gonna look very nice. I'm just gonna finish tying off the, the tree of life in the back. I'm gonna take some leather lace and we're gonna add our feathers next. Beads, then feathers. So I have many colors to choose from and I took it down from the wall and I'm gonna, I added some uh, like a crystal glass blue look that matches the beads in the webbing and now I'm just gonna match the white teal and blue on the strings. and. We'll go from there. Okay, so sometimes I kind of wonder what color to pick. I like this one here, it kind of matches a lot with this color too. And I think that will look great. Yeah, that will look really good. Okay, so I'll put that back. I'm going to try white, this one, I might put that one on here just to make it pop and a baby uh, blue just to match this blues, all different color blues. Here's my color so far and I like to try I think I'm gonna put this in here just because it kind of matches and makes it it makes it pop on the on the dream catcher. Something shiny. I like it. Yep, I like it. And that's why I cut my leather because it's thicker and I don't have to worry. You see my beads are not falling off my leather. It, it's it's stuck there so when I put a feather inside these beads then it's really really secured I usually put a lot of beads for the bigger dream catchers because it looks nice and it's big so it needs it needs some beads to make it look really really pretty We are on our last lace. The last one. Ooh. We're all done. So I take this big feather and glue it inside this little cone 
and it secures and it looks beautiful. This little silver cone pops the feather and pops the whole dream cutter. It's beautiful. With every dream catcher I make, I put my business card with uh, Big Bug Creations made by me. And you can go to my Facebook page and in the back is the story of the dream catcher. Thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and have a great day.